Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be trying out the Makeup by Mario. These are the Super Satin lipsticks, which I'm very excited because the last time I tried the Makeup by Mario matte lipsticks, specifically the shade Rasa, it's like one of my all-time favorites. I always get receive a lot of compliments when I wear that specific lip shade, so I'm very excited. I hope I have find a new favorite, and I hope I end up really liking them. But nonetheless, in case you didn't know, they came out with 18 different lip shades within this collection. It runs for $20. It is cruelty-free. It's supposed to give us a satin finish, of course. It's supposed to be really creamy and really comfortable and nourishing on our lips. So we're going to go ahead and dive on in. We're going to try them on, and I'm going to give you guys the full honesty. Do I like them? Do I not like them? We're going to see what the undertones like, how does it apply on, all that jazz. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Everything will be linked down below as always. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It helps out my channel. We're almost at 10K. I can't believe we're almost there. I remember the time that I only had like few subscribers and I barely got like 10 views. So <laughs> I hope you guys subscribe. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump on in and get started in today's video. So we're gonna start off with our first lip shade and it is called Bronx Baby. And it's described on their website as a soft, warm rose. And oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. I feel like it's gonna be a perfect everyday type of lip shade. It's gonna complement so many different skin complexions. You can use so many different type of lip liners. As you know, I love a warm toned lip liner, like a caramel brown, a little taupey brown, or even like a, what is it? Yeah, like a nice little chocolate brown lip shade. It looks so, so pretty if you want a little bit more definition. Or you can even apply a light amount over your lips if you want a little blush of color. But so for my swatch in the back of my hand, it literally glided on effortlessly. It was feels so creamy, so moisturizing. I'm really excited to see how it's going to feel on my lips, if it's going to feel heavy or sticky or what. But for the packaging, let me give you a quick run through of it because it's really nice. It definitely has a nice weight to it. It feels luxe. I love kind of like the satin matte finish that it has. And I love that it has a magnetic top, like perfect. You don't have to worry about losing the top, flying all around in your purse and potentially getting lipstick in it. As for the scent to it, it does have a slight scent to it. You have to get really close to pick it up, but it does have like a soft vanilla scent. It's not strong and overpowering. It's just really nice and soft. Like you have to just get close to it to pick it up, which, which I love because you guys know I'm not a big fan of, you know, products that are like heavily scented. So I'm going to quickly remove the lip combo that I currently have on and then we'll jump on in and try on Bronx Baby. And look at that, you guys. It's so creamy. And again, you can literally do a quick layer, press your lips together if you want like a light blush of color. It's so pretty. It doesn't feel sticky. Surprisingly, I feel like this lip shade looks different now after applying it on than what I thought it was gonna look like, but still really looks, it looks really pretty, very natural. You can easily, again, apply a light amount on your lips if you want a little bit of blush of color, if you want something a little bit more natural. But I went in at least with two, three layers trying to layer on this lip shade just so you can be able to see, you know, how pigmented it could really be. But overall, it looks really nice. I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion. Again, I still feel like I'd pair this lip shade with a chocolate brown or like toffee caramel brown lip liner shade just add a slight warmth to my lips but so far it's really pretty it was really easy to apply on it doesn't feel sticky it feels creamy and oddly it feels like it almost would be kind of sticky to my lips but then I press my lips together and it doesn't the consistency is really different different than anything that I have tried which I find very interesting <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it I feel like it'd be something you'd have to try on to really get a feel for the formula of this but so far it's very pretty really nice what do you guys think of lip shade number one now let's move on to lip shade number two it is called dumbo and i love the name to the lip shade it is so cute i would have really loved to know like the backstory behind how they created the lipstick shade and what made them want to call it dumbo just because it's so cute like who doesn't love dumbo you know it's iconic <laughs> as for the lipstick shade itself it is really pretty it has a really nice warmth to it again i still feel like this will complement so many different skin complexions you can easily apply a light blush of color on your lips if you want a light little tint of something or you can obviously layer on a few layers just so it can be a little bit more pigmented just like the swatch in the back of my hand as for this lip shade it described on their website as a spiced rose lip shade seems like there's a theme it's like another rosy lip shade but obviously it looks different it's definitely giving me fall winter vibes like this is a lip shade that i'd wear at night 
you know, when it's a little bit of cold during the fall winter time, but obviously we'll see once we apply it on we might change our mind as for a lip liner shade i'd wear it with a taupey lip liner i feel like it'd add a little bit of warmth a little subtleness um, you can easily also pair it with like a caramel brown lip liner shade and i feel like it would just work really well with a warmer tone lip shade just like this one and look at that how pretty let's go ahead and press our lips together and it has a really nice blush of color, which I like. I mean, how pretty is it, you guys? I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion. It was really easy to apply it on. And I just love the creamy formula. It's like creamy, but it feels lightweight, but it's not sticky, even though it kind of feels like it would be sticky, but then you press your lips together and it isn't. I really love the formula, you guys. It's very different than anything that I have tried. And so far, I really love the undertone. I don't even feel like you need a lip liner. Like, just alone, it looks so, so pretty. Love the fine point to the lipstick. I literally used it to clean out the edges and line my lips. So, so far, so good. What do you guys think? Now let's move on to lip shade number three. It is called 917, described on their website as a mid-tone warm rose lip shade. You guys looks like I was just picking rose lip shades. What's going on here? It seems like it's a theme. They're all different, but look really, really similar, which by the way, I'll do an up close clip of the swatch in back of my hand. But then I quickly grabbed Dumbo because I'm like, it looks so much like Dumbo, which this is 917 and Dumbo's like the little swatch on the side. They look so similar, but different, right? I prefer more of the mid-tone, but obviously we'll see once I apply it on, I might change my mind, but still really pretty, different, slightly, but still really really pretty again perfect everyday type of lip shade you can easily apply a light light amount pair it with a caramel brown lip liner shade you know you can get really creative apply gloss over it if you want something a little bit more glossy or apply a lighter shade in the center of your lips if you want a little bit more of a pout effect that's what i love to do it makes your lips look a little bit more juicy a little bit more full so i'm gonna go ahead and dive on in and apply this on And look at that it looks really natural it almost looks like my natural lip color shade so that's really really pretty so far i like it really pretty you can definitely see like it has more of like a neutral undertone to it more of a mid-tone rose for sure i do like the warmth that it has and i do like it alone but i feel like i would definitely pair it with the lip liner if i wore this lip shade i like it but i don't know just think about it I just need a little bit more of like a toffee toffee or caramel brown lip liner just to add a little bit more warmth to it and a little add a little bit more dimension but again you can easily apply a light blush of color if you want just a little bit of pigment you can easily layer on a gloss or even a lighter shade in the center of your lips just to add a little pouty effect just because i feel like it makes your lips look a little bit more pouty and a little bit more full which i love to do that by the way i always tend to do that for some reason but so far i really like it feels really comfortable hydrating creamy Again, I still feel that emollient kind of texture to it, um, but it doesn't feel bad. It feels really good. It's still a really lightweight. So, so far, so good. I hope the next one doesn't have a rosy undertone, and if it does, I apologize in advance, you guys. Let's move on to lip shade number four. And this is called South Shore, and this is described on their website as a cool pink nude. I mean, it's not giving me a, a yellow, you know, a yellow nude beige type of lip shade that I was hoping for, but I love the cool pink nude. It's so, so pretty. I really like it. It glided on effortlessly when I swatch in the back of my hand. I feel like, again, this will work with so many different skin complexions. You can pair it with a taupey brown lip liner shade, a caramel brown, a toffee brown, a brown, <laughs> and just shade in your lips and apply this in the center and it looks so, so pretty. Or just alone. I feel like it's going to look so pretty alone. So I'm super excited. I'm going to go ahead Although it does look like my natural lip color, I do feel like on camera it's going to make me look a little washed out. It's almost going to look like my natural skin complexion color. <laughs> but nonetheless, I do like it. The formula is really nice, really creamy, hydrating. I do like the undertone. I feel like this specific lip shade, I would use it and pair it with other lip shades that are slightly darker, more warmer tones, kind of like the rosy tone lip shades that we've applied on before. To give an example, I swatched Dumbo on the back of my hand and lightly applied Shore in the center. It is really subtle, but it does make a difference when you're applying light shades like this and only in the center of your lips because it gives you that pouty effect that's really subtle natural it makes your lips look a little bit more juicy more plump and i'm always looking for that you guys i'm always looking for that 
subtle plumpness to the lips. So, so far I really like it. I think this is my favorite lip shade so far that we've tried on. So I'm excited to see what lip shade number five looks like. The last final lip shade we're gonna go ahead and try on, this is called Midtown. And this is described on our website as a light neutral pink lip shade. You guys, how is it that every single lip shade out of the 18 that I've picked have been some sort of pink or rose? Like out of 18 lip shades, I picked five and <laughs> some type of rose pink. I'm kind of surprised. I thought there was gonna be more of like a nude beige, a, like a yellow type of undertone nude lip shades within the satin collection, especially because they came out with so many. So I'm a little surprised. I don't know. My picking game that day was off. I'm not really sure. But nonetheless, I feel like it's going to be a really pretty lip topper, again, to apply in the center of my lips over another lipstick just to add a little pouty effect, just because I do feel like it's going to be pretty light. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it'll end up being really nice on... Oh no, yeah, that looks really, really light. I wouldn't wear this alone. Yeah, I would pair this for sure <laughs> with a either taupey brown or like a nude beige caramel toffee brown lip liner, something to add a little bit more warmth and dimension. I would definitely not wear this alone. And again, pair it over another lipstick that's slightly more pigmented. I think we all know that I'm not a big fan of wearing this lip shade alone. I definitely pair it over a more pigmented lipstick, apply it over it just to give a little pouty effect, just to make your lips look nice and pouty and a little bit more full and plump. But nonetheless, you guys, I do really like this collection. Although they were all pink, rosy tone lip shades that I naturally don't, you know, don't gravitate towards, I would really love to see the entire collection if they have it at Sephora. I'd love to see all the lip shades, all 18 of them, just to see like, was it me? Or do they all kind of have a rosy, pinky undertone of some sort because I would have really loved to see more of like nude lip shades you know something with a little bit more of a yellow undertone a caramel undertone like give me a little bit more um just because 18 that's a lot of lip shades you guys like that is huge I love the formula though I love the creamy consistency how pigmented they are I love the packaging of it it's really nice I love that it's magnetic I love that it's cruelty free I love that it's not heavenly fragrance but I don't know I was expecting a little bit more of my nudes. I do love, what was it? What was the other one that I really liked? South Shore. I think that's my favorite lip shade out of all of them that we've tried today. Um, I can definitely see myself wearing it again, pairing it over other lipstick shades, but comment down below. Have you tried this collection? Which lip shade was your favorite? Do you agree with me? Let's have a little combo down below. Share your thoughts and opinions, you guys, but this is basically it. Everything will be linked down below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.